Hello, and welcome to the Trumple United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Mary Beth, and this is November 6, 2022. And today we honor those who have passed on before us. We call it All Saints Sunday. And we're going to begin today with reading the Beatitudes. And we find these in the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. So hear these words. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. May these words bless you this week. And my message today was inspired by uh, an essay that I read several years ago by Nadia Boltz Weber. These blessed ones, blessed ours, they're, they're, they're pretty well known. You've, you've likely heard them or heard, heard of them before. Now some, <laughs> some revisions can even find their way onto coffee mugs. I saw one last week that said, blessed are we who can laugh at ourselves because we will never fail to be amused. Now even, even though they may be familiar, the Beatitudes can be kind of confusing. It, it might seem like Jesus is um, commanding us all to try harder to be poorer or meeker or mournier. But what if the Beatitudes, Beatitudes aren't a list about ways that, that we can try to be more blessed? What if, rather than listing out the qualities that we need to grow in ourselves, Jesus is actually blessing people, especially people who never seem to receive blessings otherwise? What if Jesus knows that we all fit in here somewhere? And, and Jesus wants us to know that we aren't left unblessed no matter what. I'll show you what I mean. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who are hurt by the church and don't know if they believe anymore. Blessed are the spiritually starving who only want to sense God's blessing. Blessed are they for whom nothing is working. Blessed are the poor in spirit. You are sacred and blessed by Jesus. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are those who have buried enough loved ones that know that pain is the price of love. Blessed are the parents of the miscarried. Blessed are, what are the ones who know that they can't fall apart because they're the glue that's holding the family together. Blessed are those who still aren't over it yet. Blessed are those who mourn. You are sacred and blessed by Jesus. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who seem to be invisible. Blessed. Are the, are the middle school kids who sit alone in the lunchroom. Blessed are the sex workers and the crowded immigrants and the night shift nursing assistants. Blessed are the parts of ourselves that don't make eye contact with a world that awards winners. Blessed are the closeted, the unemployed, and the depressed. Blessed are the meek. You are sacred and blessed by Jesus. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the wrongly accused, the first to be accused, and the socially abused, for they are who Jesus spent his time with. 
Blessed are the ones without lobbyists or advocates or hope. Blessed are the foster kids and the super kids and the special ed kids and every other kid who just wants to feel safe and loved and who rarely does. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. You are sacred and blessed by Jesus. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the overwhelmed social workers and teachers and volunteers. Blessed are the kids brave enough to step between bully and victim. Blessed are those who use Facebook for unity and kindness. Blessed are those who have experienced enough shame and pain and freedom and joy that there is no longer anyone undeserving of grace in their heart and mind. Blessed are those who have forgiven each of us when we don't deserve it. Blessed are the merciful. You are sacred and blessed by Jesus. Blessed are the pure in heart, the peacemakers, the persecuted, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are the Down syndrome children whose expressions of love are total. Blessed are those who risk financial success to represent the underserved in court. Blessed are those who give up grudges and jealousies and old arguments for the sake of harmony. Blessed are those who are not yet free or accepted or welcomed. You are sacred and blessed by Jesus. And blessed is the Lord Jesus Christ for coming to us as a powerless flesh and blood newborn. Blessed is the Lord Jesus Christ because in this way he blessed our own bodies no matter what we think of them. Blessed is the Lord Jesus Christ for giving up the power of force. In doing so, he demonstrated the love hidden in peace. Blessed is the Lord Jesus Christ who cried at the friend of his tomb of his friend Lazarus. In doing so, he showed us the cleansing action of compassion. So, if today you are fragile or mourning or confused or searching, you are blessed by Jesus. If you feel unseen or unloved or uninvolved or unsure, you are sacred and blessed by Jesus. These Beatitudes, they drive home the truth that it is not our strength and our virtue that qualify us to be called a saint, a servant of God, but rather our need for a God who makes beautiful things out of dust. It isn't your ability to do for yourself that makes you worthy. What makes you worthy is a God who considers you perfect and sacred and blessed. Amen. And now go into your week, knowing that your God goes with you, knowing that Jesus Christ is your companion and your savior, knowing that the Holy Spirit meets you in the joy and the sadness of your heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless.